Welcome everybody to TechCraft, this is Rob, and today I'm going to talk you through the process you'll need to follow to reflash your Hoobs box. Let's go. Let me start by explaining why it is that you might want to reflash your Hoobs box. The first and probably the most important reason is you might have to. If your SD card has got corrupted, and this can happen because of a power outage or, or other reasons, you'll have to reflash. You've, you've got really no option. Another reason is you might be stuck on version three, like I was a while back, and you, you, to upgrade to version four, you might need to reflash. Another reason is you might be on version four, but you might still be on Raspbian uh, rather than Debian, which is the operating system that now powers the latest Hoobs images, and you might want to move to that. The team telling me this is a much more stable platform. So if you're, you know, like I am right now, doing a complete reinstall of your Hoob setup, it's probably a good option to reflash. It's a really easy process, it takes maybe five minutes. Let's see how it's done. So the first thing we'll need to do is take the SD card out of the Hoobs box. Let me show you how. Before we can reflash, the first thing we need to do is to take our Hoobs box apart and get the SD card out. Pretty easy to do that. You flip it over, take off these four bump-ons. With the bump-ons taken off, you just need to unscrew the four screws with a small cross-head screwdriver. Once you've unscrewed it, you can pop the lid off and you'll see, like I've done sometimes, it doesn't don't quite come out. So last few turns. There we go. And be careful with the screws. I just flipped one off to the side, so there's three there and there is my missing one. Now, what we need to do is just pop the Raspberry Pi out of the case. So you can pull it from the port at the back there. We'll just pop the case to one side. So this is the Raspberry Pi that is powering the hoobs. And this is the SD card here. Your unit may have a sticker over that says, do not remove the SD card. I've done this a few times, so my sticker's long gone. Uh, remove the sticker, take the SD card out, and then you can reflash it. To reflash the SSD card, we first need to download the new operating system image, and you can get that from the support.hoops.org website, links in the description below. And the one you want is this one, download for Raspberry Pi. Let's click on that. So once the image is downloaded, you'll need to burn it to your SD card. First of all, insert your SD card into your computer, and then using an app like the Raspberry Pi Imager or Bellina Etcher, you can burn it. Let me show you. So I'm gonna use the Raspberry Pi Imager, and in the Choose OS section, come to Use Custom, and then in your downloads folder, you can choose the Hoobs uh, file you just downloaded. It will have an XZ extension at the end. So click open. Now click choose storage. Select your SD card that you inserted and then press right. Uh, you're going to have to erase the whole drive. So click yes. You'll need to type in your password. You might need to give Raspberry Pi Imager or Bellina or whatever you're using uh, permission to use your removable volumes. Click OK for that and away we go. Once the image is burned, you can pop it out of your computer and we just need to pop it back inside the Hoobs box. Let me show you how. With the SD card reflash, we just need to reassemble the unit. So the first thing we'll do is we'll take the Raspberry Pi, take the SD card, and we will pop it into the bottom, just like that. Then we'll put the Raspberry Pi back into the bottom of the case. It just it sort of snaps in quite uh, tight like that. You can check that the power supply is lined up. And then we'll put the top back on, make sure that we get the ports lined up. Perfect. Flip it back over, screw all the screws back in. Once the screws are back in, you can just reattach the bump ons if you want. You can leave these off, they're not really required. And that's your reflashed Hubes unit. Now it's time to fire it up and see what it looks like. So here I am in Hoops Desktop on the right, and you can see I've still got the downloads page open on the left, and notice here, Hoops Desktop, you can download the app from there. Um, you can still use the browser if you want, but I find the desktop app to be much easier. And you can see here, I'm on 4122, so we're, we're on Hoops 4, fantastic. So just a quick note, you don't actually have to use the SD card that's inside your Hoops box, you can use a different SD card. I got a cheap 16 gig SD card of Amazon and used that for when I was testing my move to, to, to version four making sure I had my version three configuration all backed up. It worked really well. Hope you found this video useful. If so, please hit like, please hit subscribe, and maybe hit the bell as well. I'm completely redoing my Hoops 4 setup, and I'm gonna be filming tutorials for every plugin that I install. So if that's your kind of thing, you might wanna stick around. Thanks for watching, take care.